Man, what's up everybody? It's your boy Billy Mac. Um, today's video is more so just taking a look at the NFL preseason over the past weekend as a whole. Um, it's funny, the NFL says that the NFL says that this week coming up is the third week of preseason. So I'm saying the first week of preseason was the Hall of Fame game. That that counts as a week of preseason. I, I'm calling this week two of the preseason. But anyway, um, just to recap the um, the last week of preseason, and this video is going to be more. I'm going to focus on the Atlanta Falcons more because I got a lot of friends on Facebook and YouTube that want to hear from the Falcons. I want to hear about the Falcons? You know, I'm not I'm not a football expert by any means, but I will try to um, give my insight because hey, let's just be real. How much Falcons content is out there right now? I wish I had the. Uh, um, <laughs> I wish I had the prices right on the the prices right sound. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I wish I had that. Um, but anyway, I will say this about the Falcons. Okay, I don't know if y'all can hear my computer in the background, but it the fan is blowing its behind off. Um, let's see. First thing I noticed off the rip. Falcons D line is not good. Falcons D line is not good. I I don't now granted the 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 I will say this. I think Detroit's offensive line is a lot better. I think Detroit is going to sneakily have one of the best offensive lines in this league. Sneakily, like it is Detroit. So, um, shout out to my boy, Sam. I'm going to talk about his team for a second. Um, it is Detroit. It is, um, it, you know, the, the market up there is not, you know, the spotlight's not on it like most of these other teams. So, I think the Lions are really going to have a good offensive line this year. So, it might just be Detroit's offensive line. But I'm not clear on if how many starters they have. I saw DeAndre Swift was in. Why? I don't know. But um, I don't know how many starters they had. I don't know if the Falcons starters were in. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, so, but that was one of the main things I saw that, that bothered me when it came to the Falcons. Now, Two of the good things, two of the good things that I saw. I'm wondering if, you know, clearly Matt Ryan was traded to the Colts. And I'm wondering if, I'll put it like this, Marcus Mariota and Desmond Ritter looked decent behind that offensive line. Um, I don't know if, the Falcons offensive line got better or the fact you got two guys that can move that are actually mobile um, who are back there. I don't, I, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, if you got guys back there that can actually um, just because they have legs, and they're mobile, maybe it looks better. Because, I mean, Marcus Mariota looked, I don't know about y'all, I was like, dude was kind of fast. <laughs> I mean, been so used to Matt Ryan being back there, being somewhat of a statue. Matt Ryan would move a little bit, but it just seemed, it seemed like Mariota and Ritter had turbo boost back there. So maybe the Falcons offensive line is pretty decent. But now that you have a quarterback that can actually move around a little bit and manipulate the pocket a little bit, maybe the offensive line looks a little better. Um, 
don't know. I, I don't. Uh, Tyler Algier and Quadri Allison. Are these your starting running backs? I, I have not heard of either of these guys. Allison was 2019 draft, and Algier, I think, is a rookie. Uh, let's see. Drafted. Yeah, Algier is a rookie. Now, I've heard of Algier. I think he's going to be pretty good. So he's a strong guy. 21 reps at the bench press. 4-6-40. So I think Algier is going to be, I think Algier is going to, going to be pretty good. All, Allison, I, I don't know. If, but if these are starting to run the best, I'm, I, I'm just, I'm hoping for the best. Hoping for the best. Um, I will say this, though. Out of all the rookie quarterbacks, Desmond Ritter looks the best. So that's good. But at the same time, they said Desmond Ritter was the most NFL ready out of all the rookie quarterbacks. So um, that's a good thing. And um, so there's some promise there. There's some promise there. Uh, Drake London had one catch. The good news is it was a crossing route, and it looks like he has some speed to him because he's a he's tall guy. He's tall guy. Um, he's tall guy, red zone threat kind of guy. 6'3", 219. Uh, did he not run a forty yard dash? Are you serious? Uh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Dude, you, you, you ain't run a 40 yard dash? Wait a minute now, come on now. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I know this is bad, this is bad podcasting. This is really bad podcasting. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Drake London. Drake London. Uh, combine. Was he injured in the combine? He must have been injured. He must have been injured because I'm not even, I'm not seeing a 40 time. They said he ran a 4 or 5 40, which is, which is NFL, it's NFL average um, for a wide receiver. So, um, but that, that's not, it doesn't look like it's an official. But anyway, Drake London, one catch, um, 20, 24 yards. It, I, you know, I, I don't know. When did y'all get Geronimo Allison? <laughs> uh, you know, but it is what it is. Falcon fans, um. Uh, the future looks bright from my point of view. Uh, looks like the defensive line needs to get better. I'm not worried about y'all cornerback play. Cornerback play, you got A.J. Terrell and them boys. So um, it doesn't look like he, he played. Oh, he did play. He had one tackle. Um, so we shall see. Um, wait, was it the – I think – was it the Falcons that had that white boy catching passes? Yeah, Jared Bernhardt. He only caught one pass. It seemed like he caught, or did he? Did he do kicks? No. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, so Falcons, y'all, y'all, y'all do it. Y'all looks like y'all on the way. Don't know if Arthur Smith's gonna keep his job too much longer, but it is what it is. Um, on to the rest of the NFL. On to the rest of the NFL. Um, one thing that concerned me was Malik Willis. <sighs> he needs time. He needs time real bad. That offense he he ran, um, didn't he go to Louisville? That offense he ran at Louisville must have been extremely um, quarterback friendly. Uh, let me see. Oh, he went to Liberty. Yeah, that offense he ran at Liberty must have been extremely quarterback friendly because he. And the crazy thing, he didn't look good. Maybe it's his mechanics. Maybe his mechanics are not that good because he did not look good to me. I mean, he was 6 of 11 for 107 yards, which is good. That is really good. It's over 50%. But he just, to me, he just didn't, he didn't look that great. He, he just didn't look that great. And um, like I said, it might be, it might be, mechanics thing he did he just doesn't look polished he doesn't look like he needs to be in the NFL <laughs> but hopefully he'll he'll get better he, he he's a good kid and he got a good head on his shoulder so I do believe he will get better uh let's see let's see let's see oh speaking of the Tennessee Titans the team that they faced the Baltimore Ravens the Baltimore Ravens are 21 and 0 in the preseason Ladies and gentlemen, the Baltimore Ravens have not lost a preseason game in, what, five or six seasons? That's crazy. And I know preseason doesn't count, but that's meaningful. That's meaningful. Um, <laughs> Daniel Jones. Sir, you look like you have regressed. Granted, y'all won the game. Dare I say, Ty <laughs> Tyrod Taylor. <laughs> Tyrod, 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 I mean, Ty, I mean, part of me, part of me believes Tyrod Taylor is going to end up starting this year and he's going to beat the Dallas Cowboys and probably he's pro by himself. He's going to beat the Dallas Cowboys. Tyrod Taylor looks good. And the man, he's been in the league forever. He's been on every goddamn team in the world. He's only 33 years old. That is wild. <clears throat> in fact, let me see. He's going to end up being the next uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Let me see. He's been with the Ravens. Oh, he, he's been, okay. He's been with the Ravens, the Bills, the Browns, the Chargers, the Texans, and now the Giants. Just seems like he's all over the place, man. But it is injury prone. That's his issue. He injury prone. And Daniel Jones, to me, Daniel Jones did not look good. He did not look good at all. Uh, poor Jets. I mean, you know, there there's a level of there is a level of sometimes you just don't look like a football player. And Zach Wilson just doesn't look like a football player. <laughs> and the crazy thing, he got the measurables. 6'2", 221, that's a decent size, a decent quarterback size. But he just doesn't look like an NFL player. And now he has to get surgery on his knee. They're saying he's expecting to miss two to four weeks. So... I think it um uh, is is Joe Flacco still on the team? Let 
Let me see. New York Jets. New York Jets. New York Jets. New York Jets. Depth chart. Let's see. Yeah, Joe Flacco's on the team. So they got Flacco and they got Mike White. And I, I know who Mike White is because the Dallas Cowboys drafted him. Um, yeah, not, yeah, Cowboys drafted Mike White. So I'm familiar with Mike White. Pretty decent guy. Uh, pretty decent quarterback. I think he's only 27. But he's 6'5", 218. Quarterback measurables. So, um, yeah, that, that's preseason week two in my book. I mean, preseason week one in my book, but week two in the NFL's book. Uh, let's look at some of the upcoming games. We got Bears and Seahawks on Thursday. That, I, I mean... In a regular season sense, that should be a win for the Bears. I'm hoping to see, you know, I think if I remember correctly, um, Justin Fields said something about, like, you know, it's tough playing quarterback when you're throwing the third and fourth stringers. So the Seahawks are clearly in a rebuild. So let, let's see if the, offense, if the Bears' offense looks a little better. Panthers, Patriots, Saints, Packers, Texans, Rams, Lions, Colts, Broncos, Bills, Commanders, Chiefs, Raiders, Dolphins, 49ers, Vikings, Steelers, Jags, Bucks, and Titans. I did. So Malik Willis is going to go up against a better defense. I want to want to see how he's going to do. Um, my Cowboys are facing the Chargers. We got torched. In the passing game, let's the Chargers run basically an air raid offense. Which, if you don't if you don't know, uh, the air raid offense was created by the Chargers back in the '70s when they had uh, I think it was Dan Fouts. That's where the air raid came from. Um, Bengals, Giants, Eagles, Browns, Ravens, Cardinals, and um, Falcons, Jets. And, and the elephant in the room is Deshaun Watson, but I don't think he really did anything. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he did anything of note. One of five for seven yards. The dude's been out of football for a year. We'll give him some time. But anyway, that's uh, preseason week one in my book. Um, check me out next week. I'll go over the, what I saw with the Falcons again and um, preview, look at some of the other teams that, that caught my eye. It's your boy, Billy Mack, and I will holler at y'all next time. Peace.